In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top UK government organization that offer jobs with visa sponsorship for skilled workers. So if you're interested in working in an organization that is secure and there's a lot of benefits, then this video is for you. Sit tight and let's get straight into it. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Faith or Johnny. And on this channel, I talk about ways you can travel abroad and settle abroad. I share resources on how you can get started. And I share the latest updates concerning the UK, the new policies and all of that. So if you're an immigrant like me, you'd want to stay updated with the latest immigration policies in the UK. And once in a while, I share a story time, which is called the narrative. It's about true life events happening in the UK. If these are the kind of content you like, do hit the subscribe button down below, turn on your notification bell so you do not miss any of my videos. So I recently got a job with the civil service which is a public sector here in the UK and I'll tell you that there are a lot of benefits you get from working in the civil service here in the UK and some of you might or might not know that there are some government agency which is like public sector that also have the certificate of sponsorship they are licensed to sponsor skilled workers on a skilled worker visa. Some of these agency might not really advertise or mention that they have the certificate get a sponsorship to sponsor your visa in some of the job adverts but i know a few people who currently work with the government and they are on sponsorship as well i mean they work with the civil service so it's just for you to know which of these government agency do offer certificate of sponsorship and how can you find job with visa sponsorship the public sector is part of the economy that is owned and operated by the government it includes things like government agencies public schools and hospital there are many benefits to working in the public sector. Some of these benefits include government jobs, which are generally very secure. If you are in the healthcare sector, you are a teacher or a lecturer, you can work in one of the public schools here in the UK and they will sponsor your visa to the UK. I mean, I made a video where I talked about teachers being wanted in the UK. The UK government wants national teachers. So if you qualify, you have all your processes done. I mean, you're part of your teacher's organization your home country you are a qualified teacher and you've gotten your QTS done you can move to the UK and teach you'll be sponsored so you just need to look for schools in the UK that would sponsor your visa to the UK that's if you finally land a job there are many benefits to working in the public sector some of the benefits include I mean job security okay so government jobs are generally very secure this is because the government is unlikely to lay off employees even during economic downturn Downturns, okay, so I mean unlike your private sector where they can just lay you off for no reason i mean public sector is in terms of job security you know when you have a job with the public sector you know that this job is forever except maybe you committed like a serious crime or you breached some of your contract or you did something really serious before they can let you go they can't just let you go if you're looking for a secure job then the public sector is for you and this was part of the reason why i decided to become a civil servant myself because my experience in the private sectors i've not been so great i just told myself you know what i'm tired from jumping from job to job i just want something that is reliable secure and something that gives me that flexibility trust me if you are a parent or you are in the uk you're married with kids or you have children the best place for you to work is the public sector is the civil service the decision i made switching into the civil service is like one of the best decisions for me because now i am relaxed and this is why i am making this video even if you're not looking for sponsorship jobs but you just want job security flexibility and opportunities for growth and development then the civil service is for you another benefit that you get to enjoy working in the public sector is amazing retirement plan pension some good insurance there are a lot of benefits that you get to enjoy as a civil servant government job often involves working on projects that have a positive impact in the society this can be very rewarding experience working as a civil servant 
relevant is like you're serving the public which is very rewarding and you feel good about yourself for serving the public another benefit is that if you're lucky you will be sponsored okay they offer visa sponsorship so some government agencies not all of them are willing to sponsor visa for skilled workers who are not from the uk this means that you can work in the uk even if you're not a citizen even if you're not a british citizen you can still work for the government and it's quite easy all you need to do is go on the government website as a civil service job and search for jobs with the civil service so not all the government agencies have the license to sponsor your visa so i'm going to be mentioning the agencies that have the license so that's to say if you're lucky and you find a job in this agency they are likely to sponsor your visa just because the company have the license do not mean they might be willing to sponsor you and also not every job role is eligible for sponsorship so you need to be sure that the role you are applying to is eligible for sponsorship and it's on the level for sponsorship like entry level jobs are really not you cannot get sponsorship Sword. so most times they're looking for experienced and skilled workers okay i'm going to be listing the top government organization that offers jobs with visa sponsorship for skilled workers so some of them are number one i'll start with the nhs the nhs is the uk public funded healthcare system okay it's one of the largest employer in the uk and it offers a wide range of jobs in healthcare including doctors nurses and other healthcare professionals and the nhs also recruits those who are not in the healthcare maybe like you're an IT person you can still work with, with the NHS and you can still be sponsored even if I don't tell you you already know that NHS are really big on recruiting international workers I mean some people will be like I'm not a healthcare professional so there's no chances for me to work in the NHS that's not true and NHS also sponsor professionals that are not in healthcare so you just go through the website and check if your current occupation is there and if it's eligible for sponsorship the good thing about the NHS is that they always mention if they are willing to sponsor a job you will always see it in the job description so i will leave the link to the official nhs job website so if you would love to work with the nhs and you are an it person and you are seeking for sponsorship i'll leave the link below make sure to read the job description and see if it is mentioned that they offer sponsorship the second one on my list will be the department for education the department for education is responsible for education in england and it employs teachers administrators and, and other educational professionals okay so that's to say that if you're a teacher okay you are overseas and you would love to work in the UK you can work in public schools that is owned by the government okay and they will sponsor you to the UK the government made an update recently they included more countries and by 2024 or 2025 they are going to open it to almost all the countries no matter where you're from if you would love to come and teach in the UK public school you you can apply for jobs from your home country and once you're offered an employment you can then apply for your visa and come if it's a public school because it's government owned of course they're going to sponsor your visa all you need to do is make sure you're a qualified teacher in your home country then make sure you pass your qts that's a qualified teacher status here in the uk and once you get all that done then you start applying for teaching jobs in public schools and hopefully once you land a job you can then move to the uk on a sponsorship job job as a teacher the third government agency that have the license to sponsor your visa to the uk is home office home office is responsible for immigration security and law enforcement it employs a wide range of professionals including lawyers police officers and immigration officers okay the next one on my list is department for works and pension the department for works and pension is responsible for social security pension and employment it employs a wide range of professionals including social workers economists and accountants so if you would like to work for this department you can go to their official website check their career page and see the job they have available there read the job description and see if they mention sponsorship offered even if they do not mention sponsorship offered as long as they not mention that um, you need to have the right to work in the UK before you can apply for the job you can apply so one thing I've noticed is that most of these government agencies that offer sponsorship they usually do not mention it in the job description I don't know why they don't do it but if you apply for the job you pass the interview and you tell them you require sponsorship they might likely sponsor you but in fact the two companies that sponsored my husband in the uk 
the first company my husband got a job with from nigeria before moving to the uk none of the job had um sponsorship available we offered sponsorship none okay the first job that moved us to the uk from nigeria never had sponsorship available he applied he did his research to find out if the company have the sponsorship license and if, when he found out that they do he started applying for jobs and after the interview they offered him sponsorship the second job that my husband got an offer for here in the uk even though he was in the uk he mentioned to them that he needs sponsorship they offered him the sponsorship as well but in the job description when he was applying for the job he never had we offer sponsorship most of the times all you need to do is just figure out if this company have the license then you can apply sometimes i feel like this company don't include sponsorship available because they don't want to be overwhelmed with application so this is where you put in the work you do your research and find out if the job you're applying for is eligible for sponsorship then you apply once you pass the interview you can then let them know if they really really like you and they don't want to lose you they're definitely going to sponsor you also you need to know that not all government jobs are eligible for everyone okay some government jobs require you to be a british citizen or to have indefinite leave to remain some of them are available for commonwealth country that's to say if you're from any of the commonwealth country you can apply so when you're going through your application process especially government jobs the job description is always long please read everything do not rush through it read every single detail make sure you read all those exception requirements okay? and make sure you fit into the requirement before you apply if you see anyone that says um you need to have the right to work in the uk before you apply then that means it's for only people that have the right to work in the uk so if you're looking for sponsorship you might not want to apply for those ones because it's already specified there that you must have the right to work in the uk so look for jobs that do not have that specification that you must have the right to work even if it does not have we offer sponsorship as long as it doesn't have you must have the right to work still give it a try since you require sponsorship and during your interview you can mention that so now let's go to how can you find these government jobs that offers visa sponsorship there are a few ways you can find jobs with visa sponsorship in the government sector okay so number one would be to visit the website of the government agency that you are interested in working for many government agencies have a section on their website where you can search for jobs um if you are interested in working for dwp department of works and pension they are one of the government agencies that have the license or if you want to work with british council they are also licensed government employers so you can just go to their official website you can just go to dwp once you log in there go to their career page and you see job vacancies there you can apply so another thing is maybe i did not mention some of the government agencies you're interested in all you can do is go on gov.uk go on the sponsorship list and search for that particular government agency you're interested in figure out if they have the sponsorship license then go on their career page and search for jobs another strategy you can use also is making sure you're using the right keywords and key phrases when you're searching for this job also they have a dedicated website for government jobs so if you're interested in working with the public sector you want to become a civil servant whether with sponsorship or without sponsorship you can always find every civil service jobs on the official civil service website i'm going to leave the link to the civil service website and links to some of the government agencies websites that have the license to sponsor your visa in the description box below and also i would like to mention that if you're a lecturer okay and you love to come to the uk on visa sponsorship there are a lot of universities in the uk that offer sponsorship to lecturers from overseas i mean you do not have to be in the uk to be able to teach as a lecturer most of these universities and linkedin page they usually advertise jobs opening for lecturers so if you would like to work for maybe london university or birmingham university just go on linkedin and make sure to follow all of their page then go on their job openings you can even reach out to their recruiters so when you go on linkedin and follow these pages you can look for maybe their in-house recruiters and reach out to them trust me all the jobs that my husband has gotten in the uk has been via LinkedIn, and i'll tell you that linkedin is one of the best places where you can i mean connect with recruiters and 
find jobs opening i mean there are lots of jobs we can see on linkedin if you're not using linkedin and you're looking for jobs in the uk i mean i don't know i don't know what you're doing okay use your cv template create your linkedin profile your bio and everything make it attractive so that recruiters can find you as well if you're interested in working in the uk government that's a public sector i encourage you to visit the government agency website and the civil service website that you're interested in working for you can also use job search engines for jobs in the uk and that offers visa sponsorship on um, job search like indeed or glassdoor you can just go on indeed and type government jobs with visa sponsorship government jobs with tier two sponsorship i mean the keywords and or key phrases that you use matters okay you can just put government jobs with visa sponsorship available or you can use government jobs that sponsor tier two workers be specific on what you're looking for if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comment section and guys i'll see you in my next video Bye!